the cornerstone uh, interviews in that in that project. Uh, one was with Francis Jordan Banks, who, as you know, passed away in May due to COVID at the age of 102. She had served at Fort Williams. The other cornerstone uh, was Ernest Bryan, who had uh, served in Fort Williams on multiple occasions, but uh, we found what uh, was particularly interesting about, about Ernest's story was what he did in between the times that he was at Fort Williams. Uh, he kind of adopted Fort Williams as his military home because he always seemed to return there in between these stints abroad. And uh, consequently, uh, we Janet and I very informally adopted him as a, as a native son of Cape Elizabeth because of his experiences. What he did was nothing short of remarkable. I sat at the table opposite him interviewing him. And as we got deeper into the interview, my eyes kept getting bigger and bigger. And I don't know how big they were at the end of the interview, but it, it, was, uh, it was an amazing experience for me because about halfway through, I realized I was sitting across the table from a genuine war hero an American hero. Um, he served in Europe during World War II. Uh, he was wounded twice uh, in Europe and served with incredible valor for which he was uh, awarded a bronze star and a silver star and multiple purple hearts. After World War II, he came back to Fort Williams and uh, when the Korean War broke out, he was dispatched to Korea where again, he served with incredible valor. He was wounded again. Um, he received another bronze star, another silver star, and another purple heart. And, you know, I, I don't know how much more you have to do before you get to the level of Congressional Medal of Honor or Presidential Medal of Freedom or whatever, but he's got to be knocking at the door. But uh, why now? Um, I, we had developed a rapport with Ernest and his daughter, Kathy Gearing. Uh, Kathy and her husband, Warren, live in Buxton, and Ernest now lives with them. Um, and we were invited out there, Janet and I were invited out to their house. Uh, we went on a, on a beautiful spring day, and I was exposed to the medals, the citations, which were in dis on display in Ernest's room. So this guy is valid. Uh, he's legitimate. He wasn't one of these guys that you hear about every once in a while that goes out and buys medals and then claims there he is. Uh, there, are, there are newspaper articles documenting his service, um, which not that I questioned him, but it's just nice to have that affirmation. Um, and as I say, we developed a, a rapport. We invited uh, Ernest and Kathy back to Fort Williams along with Francis Jordan Banks uh, so that we could give them a tour around Fort Williams and, and again, harvest their memories from the time and the times that they were at Fort Williams. So uh, Kathy just recently contacted Janet and, and me by email saying that Ernest was about to celebrate his 100th birthday on October 5th. Could we send a card? Could we please send a card to her father? So I'm thinking, oh, we can send her a card. <laughs> we can send him a card. But I think we can do a lot more too in honor of this, this incredible gentleman. So. Um, that got the wheels spinning. Um, Janet and I agreed we would send cards on behalf of our respective organizations, but we would do something uh, a little more special than that. And so uh, that's why I put the letter to you, uh, hoping that you might go along with proclaiming October 5th, our Ernest 100th birthday as Ernest Bryan Day in Cape Elizabeth. And also, um, I kind of, uh, you know, this is all seat of the pants. I started uh, thinking about a, an event that we could do in his honor, get him back to Fort Williams one more time. And so uh, we, we put our heads together and uh, I contacted the uh, Fort Williams Park Committee, asked them if they'd be willing to uh, close Captain Strout's circle off to vehicular traffic for just a short time on Saturday, uh, October 17th from 11 to 11.30. And during that time, uh, we would get uh, Ernest and his family an escort from by the Cape Elizabeth Police Department and maybe the fire department down from Engine One Station down to Fort Williams and Captain Strout Circle. Um, Chief Fenton from the police department was more than on board. He said, what can we do? Yes, we'll give you an escort. Can we provide a, a color guard? And I said, wow, yes, you can. And so uh, 
we're going to have a little program. It'll be very short um, because I told I told the Fort Williams Park Committee that we wouldn't be blocking the circle for very long. It'll still remain open for for pedestrian traffic, uh, but uh, the intent is to have a, a brief introduction, call the uh, color guard from the police department forward, play the national anthem, and then uh, review Ernest's amazing accomplishments and and finish with a, a happy birthday, uh, singing of happy birthday. So uh, that's basically what's planned. I got the endorsement of the uh, Fort Williams Park Committee for closing off Captain Stroud Circle. Obviously we have the police and fire departments on board and uh, the rest of it will be up to, uh, to us getting publicity out. And I wanted to assure you that uh, whatever event we have, we will maintain COVID protocols. We will demand distancing. And uh, if the distancing isn't there, the masks will be worn. But uh, I, I, I'm really looking forward to this, and I think it's a fitting tribute to Ernest, and and uh, also will give honor to our town. So thank you for your consideration. Thank you especially for giving up uh, a few moments on another evening. I know you're always looking for things to do on evenings, but uh, I'm glad I could fill that uh, void tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. And we love being here. We're here all the time. Every free evening we have, we try to schedule another meeting. Um, but thank you so much for doing this. It's so thoughtful of you. And um, thanks to Janet also for her help with that. It's just so cool. Um, and I will try to make it down to the fort on the 17th to check out that event. You're all invited. And, and while you mention it, uh, it would be great to have a representative of the town council there to read the proclamation that hopefully you will pass tonight. I, you know, maybe you can talk that out among yourselves, but just let me know if, if one of you can attend. That would be greatly appreciated. Yeah, that is that is a wonderful idea. And speaking Great. of the draft proclamation, um, would would you like to read that this evening? Uh, I'm, I'm happy to do it. I don't mean if to put you on do the it, spot. That would be great. Uh, I have, Matt sent me the copy. It's It looked great to me. Um, I don't have it on my screen right now. I'd have to do a little searching and keep, keep you here probably till midnight because I'm not a techie. <laughs> So uh, I, I will happily read, read it. it. Go ahead and read it. <laughs> yes, I just didn't want to take that honor away from you if it was no. something that you that you wanted to do. Thank you. Okay. Um, so the draft proclamation before us this, for us this evening is as follows. Whereas Mr. Ernest Bryan, a native of Portland, Maine, proudly and faithfully served in the United States Army from 1940 until 1962, and whereas Fort Williams, Cape Elizabeth was his home base, having served there from 1940 to 1942, for a brief time in 1946, from 1949 to 1950, and from 1951 to 1952. And whereas Mr. Bryan served in Europe during World War II, was wounded in battle there, and served with uncommon valor, for which he was awarded a bronze star, a silver star, and a purple heart, and whereas during the Korean War, Mr. Bryan was deployed there again incurring battle wounds and again serving with uncommon valor, earning yet another bronze star, a silver star, and another purple heart. And whereas on October 5th, 2020, Mr. Bryan will celebrate his 100th birthday, then be it proclaimed that the Cape Elizabeth Town Council and the citizens of Cape Elizabeth do hereby wish Mr. Bryan all possible happiness on his milestone birthday and be it further proclaimed by the Cape Elizabeth Town Council, acting on behalf of the aforementioned citizens of Cape Elizabeth, Maine, that we join together in honoring Mr. Bryan's remarkable service to the United States of America, both overseas and here in our town, by designating October 5th, 2020, as Ernest Bryan Day. So we are looking for a motion to proclaim October 5th, 2020, as Ernest Bryan Day in recognition of Mr. Bryan's distinguished service to our country and the occasion of his 100th birthday. So moved. Thank you, Valerie. Jamie, is that a second? It is, thank you. Thank you. Um, any discussion on this item? I, I just add that uh, the 18th will be a rain date in case uh, hopefully we won't need it, but. Um, Thank you. Um, okay, so if there's no discussion, roll call vote, please. Matt? You're on mute, Matt. <laughs>
<laughs> I, apparently my space bar wasn't helping me on that. I apologize. <laughs> Councillor Devereaux, we'll try that again. Yes. Councillor Gabrielson? Yes. Councillor Garvin? Yes. Councillor Caitlin Jordan? Yes. Councillor Penelope Jordan? Yes. Councillor Christopher Straw? Yes. And Chairman Valerie Adams? Yes. Madam Chair, the motion is approved unanimously. Thank you. Um, thank you again, Jim, for bringing that to our attention. Thank and you all very much. And again, I, I uh, appreciate you getting out on, well, you didn't get out, did you? But I, getting on the air uh, tonight, I appreciate it. Thanks. Um, okay, so that's the end of our very brief agenda. There is now another opportunity for anyone in attendance to raise any other topic not on the agenda this evening. So I'll look to the now six attendees. Um, give them a moment if there is anyone who wants to address an item not on the agenda. Seeing no one, um, do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Thank you, Penny. Is there a second? Second. Thanks, Caitlin. Um, any discussion? All in favor? Matt, please. Councillor Devereaux? Yes. Councillor Gabrielson? Yes. Councillor Garvin? Yes. Councillor Caitlin Jordan? Yes. Councillor Penny Jordan? Yes. Councillor Straw? Yes. And Chairman Adams? Yes. Thank you all. I hope you have a great night tonight. Appreciate you all coming together. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Good night. Thanks, Jim. <laughs>